I feel like it. Sorry? You're right to go? Uh, no, not yet. Yeah, just check the audio. Oh, no. Is that alright? The only other thing is too, there's still some investigations are ongoing, so we probably won't have the final figures for you until this afternoon. So Gary can probably give you what they've got so far, but I'll probably give you some of the other stuff this afternoon once that's finalised. So I just feel that might be as well. So when you say this afternoon, if you mean this afternoon, are you meaning deadline wise? As soon as we've tallied the figures that we have to give them to you, otherwise if we broadcast time, I'll figure what we've got so far. And you've been playing investigations are continuing, are you? No worries. <laughs> Everyone good? Okay. Thanks very much for coming on. Long, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gary Watts, G A R R Y W A W T S. I'm a detective inspector in charge of Task Force Hydra State Crime Operations Command. Police have charged 34 people on 196 offences after a number of raids were conducted across South East Queensland today. Police from State Crime Operations Command, led by members from Task Force Hydra, supported by police from the South Eastern Region, the Southern Region and Operations Support Command, today closed a nine month long operation called Operation Ice Falcon. We are also supported by personnel from the Customs and Border Protection Service. Operation Ice Vulcan specifically targeted persons with identified links with outlaw motorcycle gangs who were involved in the production and supply of illicit substances, namely GHB and methylamphetamine. Today we executed 30 search warrants at uh, residential and business premises across the Gold Coast, Logan and Ipswich areas. This operation is one of the strategies the service use, uses to target the criminal activities of outlaw motorcycle gangs and persons associated with outlaw motorcycle gangs who are involved in the production and supply of dangerous drugs which causes obviously a great deal of community concern. This operation clearly demonstrates we will search, we will continue to search out and prosecute people who are involved with the production and supply of dangerous drugs and with identified links with outlaw motorcycle gangs. A number of uh, items were seized during the search warrant execution today, including 66 litres of precursor chemicals used in the manufacture of listed substances, uh, one taser, and also an amount of um, GHB and methylamphetamine. I'm now open for uh, questions, but bear in mind, obviously, these matters will be going to court, so I'll be somewhat limited in what I can release. How effective is this being done? This operation, look. I believe that we have made a serious and major dent in, in respect to a major criminal network operating on the Gold Coast who were involved in the high level supply of methylamphetamine and GHB across the Gold Coast in South East Queensland. Was the Gold Coast the centrepiece of this operation? Uh, it started at the Gold Coast uh, with identified links with outlaw motorcycle gangs and criminal networks, but it also stretched to Logan, Ipswich, and also the North Coast region. Are the ringleaders based here? Yes, the, the people that we are saying who are uh, high up in the criminal network are based on the Gold Coast. And they've been arrested today? That's correct, yes. What's the, um, can you say what um, gangs might be involved, what clubs might be involved? Uh, two members charged today are from the Finks Outlaw Motorcycle Gang on the Gold Coast. Are they high ranking members or associates? But that's as far as I'm going to say in relation to their membership. Uh, not yet, but we certainly uh, will we'll attempt to break them down before the end of the day. But 
the majority of people charged are from the Gold Coast. And we're any firearms, can we? Uh, not at this stage, but as you can imagine, uh, or not as you can imagine, search warrants are still being uh, executed as we speak, uh, and we will update. Um, we'll provide updates as the day progresses. How many premises on the Gold Coast were raided today? Oh, I haven't got the exact breakdown for that as yet. Uh, well, yes, the, um, a, a number of the, the 34 people have identified links with outlaw motorcycle gangs and are associated with the criminal network that we have charged today. So it's all one criminal network? All criminal network. Um, our operation led us into this particular network, which, uh, which as I said, is what we believe to be a, a, serious, a major drug supply network operating on the Gold Coast. And what undercover police officers are using this operation? We used a variety of methodologies to gather evidence against the people involved in this network, which has led us to the position we're in today. Are there several gangs involved in this thing, or are you saying it's all based around allegedly the uh, No other outlaw motorcycle gangs have been identified at this stage. There's some suggestion that one of the raids, one of there may have been some sort of, like it may not have gone, <coughs> there may have been some gunshots or some sort of noises or that sort of thing. Was, can you As to the, the exact operational uh, Operations that we go through to execute search warrants. I'm not going to comment on that. Did you specifically lose, um, what was that all found in one premises, or was it like? Uh, the 66 litres were found in one premises, to my understanding. That's the Gold Coast? Yes, yes. No, I don't. It's, not, it's my understanding that uh, no one was assaulted at any of the uh, uh, locations that we executed search warrants today. Well, certainly, it's my understanding that that address is not associated with the uh, operation today. Can you confirm whether any firearms were, um, put, uh, were fired during any of the raids this morning? Because there were just witnesses that said that they heard gunshots. Um, no, I'm not going to comment on the operational, uh, um, on the way we uh, do business with search warrants. Okay. They may have just heard, or could there be a, like, did you, could be other... Certainly, it's certainly my understanding there were no gunshots discharged during the execution of any of the search warrants here this morning. Um, it's my understanding that the police officer has uh, obtained a slight laceration to a, to a hand, a cut hand, um, as a result of some broken glass, but that's as far as I know in relation to that. Were the attendants fine? Did they arrest? Were they, uh, they shot back? Uh, the execution of the search warrants and our uh, tactics um, executing those went as I would have expected them to go. Did you ever put a um, dollar value on the drug seized today? Um, no, not today, but during the, or even over the course of the operation at this stage. But I just say that I want to reiterate that uh, we believe we have smashed a major drug trafficking network operating on the Gold Coast. Are you going to have any specifics? I don't have that breakdown. There certainly were a number of women involved. And what other properties were seized? What other smashed properties? Um, a motor vehicle, a, a trailer with motorcycles attached, um, taser, as I've said, amount of drugs. Um, some precursor chemicals. That's at this stage of the breakdown I have. And were any drugs found? An, an amount of chemicals and an amount of uh, glassware have been located. Um, they've been examined by our uh, eyelet uh, examiners. As to the uh, exact breakdown of, of uh, whether we can call it a clandestine laboratory or not, uh, it's too early to say. To say. Are you today? Most definitely. Uh, there'll be further arrests today. Further people will be charged, and there will be ongoing search warrants and people arrested. Is any of the bills Not to my knowledge, no. You've been around for some time, and I know you've said already it's quite major, but have you, in terms of what the task force has sort of done prior, is this, how does this trade amongst that? And the Achievements Task Force HIDRA has yeah, achieved. Yeah. This is certainly one of, uh, one of the highlight uh, investigations that I've been involved in. We, um, you know, Hotel Barrow from last year, Foxtrot Creed from the year before that. This is certainly up there with, uh, with what we believe to be disrupting and dismantling a major drug trafficking network that has been operating on the Gold Coast for some time. Does this go some way to allaying people's fears about crime on the Gold Coast, do you think? I know that you're saying it's a particular drug, but obviously that has follow-on effects. 
I certainly hope so. It's one of the strategies that, uh, that the service utilises to, uh, to lessen the impact that uh, drugs and drug trafficking have within the community and, and obviously causes such community concern. What was the involvement of the customs, was it customs officers? Uh, customs officers and <coughs> customs dogs. Yes. And what involvement did they have? They assisted us with the execution of the search warrants. At premises or? At, at premises, yes. No, it wasn't, wasn't bringing in through the border. No, they assisted us with the execution of the warrants. How many police officers were involved in, in the operation? Uh, in excess of 115 police officers drawn from, as I've said, uh, Straight Crime Operations Command. South East Police Region and the Southern Region. Were these raids all simultaneous? That's correct, yes. The, uh, the raids um, were simul simultaneously executed in the early hours of this morning and have continued since that time. Are you confident you've got the man at the top, the man or the woman at the top? Yes. <laughs> this has been a nine month operation. Um, conducted by members of Task Force Hydra, and as I said, we are we are confident that we smashed a major drug trafficking network on the Gold Coast. Are you looking now at any, uh, any recent days or overseas for the supply of the network? Obviously, our investigations are ongoing, but that uh, the uh, the production or the supply of uh, precursor chemicals and the production of the dangerous drugs is something that we'll examine and, and establish links, whether it be in Queensland or interstate. In nine months operation, have you got policing film that goes back years on this? That's probably something I can't really go into. Is the methamphetamine like commonly iced? Is that broad C or just doing a combination? Methylamphetamine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you just please define what that would be? No, I, I couldn't give the breakdown of, of what that would uh, what would that lead to us in, in methamphetamine or other drugs. Would you have expected to find other drugs with some of the other homes perhaps? During the course of our um, uh, yeah, an amount of an amount of drugs has been located at the various premises, but not a great deal today. But that wasn't expected. Have you had any Hydra officers infiltrate the gang search and armaments unit? Again, you're getting into a uh, an operational area that I won't be answering any questions on. When you said that wasn't expected, why not? A moment ago, you said it wasn't expected that we didn't find more. Well, I, I should probably should rephrase that. We found what I expected to be to be found, rather than. I didn't expect to be finding anything else. That's what I expected to be, to be found. Okay. Thank you. Thanks very much for your time.